Shadows of War, A Soldier's Descent into the Haunted Abyss. In the desolate expanse of a war-torn land, where the echoes of gunfire and the wails of the wounded filled the air, there stood a soldier named Captain Alex Mercer. He was a battle-hardened man, his eyes reflecting the horrors he had witnessed in the name of duty. As the sun dipped below the jagged horizon, casting long shadows over the barren landscape, Captain Mercer and his squad found themselves on the outskirts of a village, rumored to be haunted. The village had an eerie stillness, as if the very earth held its breath in anticipation of something sinister. The moon cast an ethereal glow on the shattered windows and crumbling walls, revealing the scars of a conflict that had torn through the once tranquil settlement. Captain Mercer's mission was simple. Search for any remaining enemy combatants and gather intelligence. Little did he know that something far more malevolent lurked in the shadows. As the squad cautiously advanced through the narrow, debris-littered streets, a bone-chilling wind whispered through the remnants of the village. Captain Mercer felt an unease crawling up his spine, a sensation he had never experienced on the battlefield before. His instincts, honed by years of combat, screamed at him to be on high alert. Strange occurrences began to unfold. The distant cries of the wounded echoed through the ghostly silence. But when the squad rushed to investigate, they found nothing but the lingering echoes of anguish. Whispers carried by the wind taunted them, indistinct but laden with an otherworldly weight. Paranoia gripped the soldiers, and each shadow seemed to dance with a life of its own. As the night deepened, Captain Mercer led his squad into the heart of the village, where an ancient, dilapidated mansion loomed ominously. Its windows were shattered, and the moonlight spilled through the jagged openings, painting eerie patterns on the decaying wallpaper. Against his better judgment, Captain Mercer ordered his men to search the mansion. The air inside was thick with an unnatural cold. Creaking floorboards and distant moans echoed through the hollow halls. Mercer's senses heightened as he reached the grand staircase, and a soft voice beckoned him from the upper floors. He ascended, his boots making hollow thuds on the decaying steps. At the top, the corridor stretched into darkness. His flashlight flickered, casting elongated shadows that seemed to writhe like spectral tendrils. The voice persisted, leading him to a chamber at the end of the hall. The door swung open with a mournful creak, revealing a room frozen in time. A tattered canopy bed stood in the center, and a dusty mirror reflected the visage of a gaunt figure clad in military uniform, Captain Mercer himself. The voice, now a haunting chorus, whispered secrets of the past, recounting the tragic tales of the village's demise. The walls seemed to close in as the air turned into a grotesque, distorted version of himself, a macabre reflection that grinned malevolently. Panic surged through him as the whispers grew louder, each syllable a chilling reminder of the lives lost in this forsaken place. The room seemed to pulse with a dark energy that clawed at Mercer's sanity. Desperation and fear gripped Captain Mercer, but he couldn't tear his eyes away from the corrupted mirror. Shadows materialized, swirling around the room like ethereal specters. The air thickened with a palpable malevolence, and the temperature plummeted to an unbearable degree. He could almost feel the weight of unseen eyes upon him. In a moment of dread, the whispers coalesced into anguished pleas. The tormented souls of the village seemed to reach out from the shadows, 
their voices intertwining with the wind that howled through the broken windows. The room became a theater of the macabre, with Captain Mercer at its center, a puppet ensnared in the grip of supernatural forces. Summoning every ounce of his resolve, Mercer stumbled backward, attempting to escape the cursed room. The mansion itself seemed to groan, as if resentful of the living intruders who dared to disturb its dark secrets. The corridor stretched endlessly, a labyrinth of nightmares that defied all sense of time and space. As he fled the haunted mansion, Mercer's squad found him disoriented and shaken. He struggled to convey the horror he had witnessed, but his words were lost in the howling wind that seemed to carry the mournful cries of the village's lost souls. The squad, too, felt the oppressive atmosphere, a suffocating presence that clung to them like a shroud. With a reluctant acknowledgement of the supernatural, Captain Mercer ordered a hasty retreat from the accursed village. The shadows seemed to mock their escape, dancing along the edges of their vision. The whispers persisted, following them through the desolate streets until they crossed the invisible threshold, leaving the haunted village behind. The squad never spoke of the spectral ordeal, but the haunted gaze in Captain Mercer's eyes spoke volumes. War had taken its toll on him, but the horrors he encountered in that forsaken village abroad were beyond the scope of mortal conflict. The supernatural tendrils of that night continued to linger, an indelible mark on the soldier's soul, a reminder that some battles reach beyond the realm of the living. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with chills unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.